Okay, so we're here this morning at Collector's Card House to celebrate Chloe hitting 100k. She's not quite there yet. She's currently on current count at the very moment. So she's in the 24 away. I won't get to see before. So I'm going to head inside and show you. I've got her a little present. Nothing crazy. So the present that we got her was a little bottle of Prosecco, a WWE prison box with some packs and a couple of autograph cards just in case nothing get, good gets pulled. Then had a tour of the store. Uh, the back of the store was full of play mats, sleeves, the Vault X stand was looking quite empty to be honest, just one binder left which actually sold while I was there. So I restocked and needed on that. Uh, one of my favourite things in the store is this little stand which has all the empty vintage boxes from box breaks done on both Dean and Chloe's channel. The cabinets had some awesome cards, a full set of KFC promos, a vintage Japanese pack. Moving on to the other side, lots of slabs. Um, not everything was on display because it was the day after the card show. Nice Umbri on there, which I've sent off to PSA the exact same card in my next PSA submission video. This cabinet had the uh, Generations Pro Rose, some old arts, and the Umbreon from Hidden Fates. Not a fan of this uh, cabinet, far too many Charizards for my liking. nice artworks a portrait of uh, Chloe which is dressed as Billy last Halloween not this one now the card cabinets being protected by this very ugly Bulbasaur um, weren't completely restocked as I say it was the day after the London card show so a lot of things had been taken there um, more modern side on this side I already get a couple of cards from here in a trade that I did later in the video nice black and white Vaporeon promo there wouldn't mind collecting the whole set of all the evolutions from the black and white promos bit more vintage on the top shelf again quite modern most of this yep. and then we then we zoom straight into vintage Chansey another Chansey what else did we have in here it's a bit of a mixture to be honest Card that I need in Japanese is that uh, Friends in Galar. Unfortunately, that was in English. Well, this was more <coughs> of a older and unique themed cabinet. Lots of Pikachu promos, Pikachu cards. Unfortunately, lots of Charizards. None that take my fancy little section of 151 very popular at the moment some, art, some shining cards I need I need them in Japanese not English and then up at the top of this cabinet a bunch of fossil packs that were left over from a box break along with lots of other vintage packs there were a few more fossils that were just random. Yeah, Sandstorm, base set 2. Uh, gym, base set. Jungle, fossil. 
a few vintage Japanese packs. Um, moving on to the sealed selection. Some cel celebrations, prime collection boxes. You don't see those kicking about too much. The RTSV box, which has Cosmic Eclipse. And then a bunch of more modern things. Mimikyu boxes, which I believe have Sun and Moon and Fates Colliding. Two sets that have big Umbreon cards. Bunch of ETBs, Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. And we have some non-Pokemon related stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! One Piece. Dragon Ball, Digimon I believe, some Funko Pops, a few more uh, TVs, then the Pricey Cabinet, Team Up, Theme Deck, Sealed Box, Team Up ETB, a bunch of base set packs, the Beta Chansey, which is the most expensive card in the shop, at 18,000 I think. A sealed Southern Island, and then a bunch of long crimp. Okay. So while we're here, doing a bit of, a bit of trade, I am getting the Celebrations Prime collection. A couple of these Mimikyu boxes and a few raw cards. The Japanese hero from Neo Revelation, a Pikachu promo, the Umbreon black and white promo, Glaceon GX, a Vaporeon black and white promo, and a Mewtwo GX. And I'm trading in. Hazard. Meanwhile, Chloe was upstairs about to go live and about to hit 100,000 subscribers. To capture it as it happens. Oh my goodness. Here it goes. I'll read everyone's member milestones in a minute, but I just need to. Um, I don't know which one to capture now. I think I'm going to film this one. Oh my gosh. Here we go. 100. <laughs> A hundred thousand subs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've done it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. A hundred K. Here he is. <laughs> is that my confetti? <laughs> Raylan Pokemon card. <laughs> Raylan Pokemon card. <laughs> There we go. Are you going to clean all this up? I'm Georgia. Hello. <laughs> Dean's here, everyone. I... Whilst Chloe was uh, cleaning up Dean's mess upstairs, I decided to open a few packs of Lost Origin. Started off well with a couple of uh, trainer gallery cards and an Eternatus Anamorous V. I went downhill from there though. Radiant Steelix. A Zoroark V Star. I believe that was the last hit that we managed to get. Nothing there. That she has just hit 100k. A little present for you, Chloe. Day. Little bottle of Thank you so much. Bottle of water. <laughs> I'll be drinking I that got later. a couple of autos just <gasps> in case you don't Thank manage you. to hit anything in you. <gasps> this is a good. Thank you so yeah, much. That's all right. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Natalia as well. So finally back home uh, after a five-hour car journey. Traffic was awful. Um, Chloe, congratulations on 100k once again. Just gonna have a bit of a closer look at the raw cards that we purchased and a couple of other things that I picked up over the weekend. First thing being a Stellar Crown booster box 
Um, completely forgot the pre old one when that set first came out. That's not good for the seal collection. Whilst at London Car Show the day before, did pick up another slab. Picked up the Delta Species Umbreon in a PSA 8. And then, just want to have a closer look at the cards that I purchased raw, which will be going in a future PSA submission. We got the Umbreon promo from the collection box. The front looks clean. There's a little bit of whitening in the corner, so probably an eight or a nine on that one. And then the cards that we picked up from Collector's Card House have the Pikachu KFC promo with the Galar starters. That is on the sleeve. That is very clean. Mewtwo, <coughs> Mewtwo EX. Probably the cleanest of the lot, if I'm honest. The Glaceon. Not a massive card by any means. Do you want all of the evolutions? It is slightly heavy on this side. Then we have the black and white promos, the Vaporeon, and on the pack, not too bad, there's a bit of whitening and edgeware on the corners, it does look a little bit bottom heavy on the front. And my favourite out of them all, the Umbreon black and white promo. Front looks. Know, there is a couple of little silver inspects up at this top. Back, again, corners. A little bit of whitening, not too bad. And the final card, which won't be getting sent, means I now only need the. Shining Magikarp and Gyarados for my Japanese Neo collection. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in the next one.